Okay, so moving on to LinkedIn, we've uh, we've spent some time talking about what do you actually say in your LinkedIn profile. Most people forget that, uh, and if if you just spent a couple of moments, uh, maybe an hour before filling in your LinkedIn profile, thinking about your personal brand, you will have done more to separate yourself from the crowd than anyone else uh, going for those same jobs. So, how does this all relate to LinkedIn? The advice I'm going to give you is all based on statistics. I tend to not want to give you my cold opinion without backing it up uh, and making sure that what I'm showing you is very relevant and very high leverage towards your goal of finding work. So we're going to talk about the three major elements of your LinkedIn profile, not because I think they're cool or because I think they're important, but because of research that's been done that shows over and over again that the picture, the headline area, and the summary are the most critical parts of your LinkedIn profile. And if you're going to spend time on your profile, spend time there. So let's look at those three critical parts. Here's uh, an example of bad headlines. Bad headlines. And the reason why Satish, uh, his headline is so bad is, well, let's, let's think about this objectively. He's a senior software engineer in San Francisco. Let me ask you guys, how many senior software engineers do you think there are in San Francisco? Probably a bazillion, okay? And they're all open for opportunities. He really hasn't differentiated himself at all. He, in fact, he's commodified himself. He's just another senior software engineer who we can start to bargain down with, right? Well, that's because he's only giving his job title too little. But there's another end to this extreme, and that's to give too much without the job title. If you look at Joseph here, I help companies generate revenue through product innovation and go-to market planning. If I was a recruiter and I'm looking for a VP of marketing, Joseph's profile will be invisible to me because his job title is not present in his headline. And this is a huge mistake as well. So there is a balance between having your job title and also using that 120 character area to fill in a little bit about who you are. This is, this is one of my trainers here in Portland, Kara. She uh, has a fantastic headline here. I'll read it to you. It's uh, adult educator, success coach, and facilitator putting the community in college to maximize learner success. Job title, right there, right up front, adult educator, okay? Um, now, how does she differentiate herself? She's putting community in college, so she's very passionate about the community college system, which if you've gone to or are affiliated with community colleges, being excited about that system is a huge selling point to making a positive first impression. Let's talk a little bit about keywords. So this is why keywords are so important. So like, you know, when you're on Google and I don't know, you're looking for a recipe for oatmeal cookies and you click on the first three results, right? Well, the same thing happens in LinkedIn when recruiters are looking for someone to fill out a role. They're going to type in a job title and they're going to look at the first page a result. And if your profile's on page two of those results, essentially you're invisible, right? Just like the cookie recipes that are on page two of your Google search result. You're not really going to get there. But if you have the right keywords in the right places, then you're more likely to rank and be contacted. And one of the most powerful places to put your keyword is in your headline. So if you work with a professional writer with your profile, it's really imperative, really, really imperative that they spend some time getting you the right keywords to put in your headline. 